Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making a lithopane. It's basically made on a piece of plastic and once you stick light behind it, the image will appear like the one on screen. This is the material I used. I'll leave a link in the description. You can make it however big you'd like. Keep in mind that the end result is going to be pretty thin, so you want to start with a thin material. If you're using the material that I'm using, it's 0.21 thick. First thing you're going to want to do is create a box that's about an inch smaller. You need to have a border around the actual ending part because it's super thin and it would more than likely snap in half so make sure you put a border around it. So to make this work properly, there's a couple things you need to do. First, you need to reverse your image to where it looks like, kind of like the eyes are sticking out. You'll see here in a second. And then the next thing is the shape height of the actual model. Them two things are crucial. And then when we get to the other side, on the machining side, you need to have 0.04 underneath the model them three things are very important for this to work if you've done it correctly this is what your image should look like Shape height is going to be between 0.09 to 0.11. 
I'm going to use 0.11. Underneath your model, you need to have 0.04. It's very crucial. If you're not sure what bit to use, we have a little trick to figure out what it's going to look like after it's carved because the 3D preview is not going to give you a very good idea. We have a little trick I'll show you in a minute. Now if you want to go see what it looks like afterwards, you're going to go to modeling, then right there, and they go all the way to the bottom. Now you need to highlight toolpath preview only, and then change it to right there. After you do that, go to the 2D tab and you'll be able to see a preview of what it will look like after you put it up in the light. You also can tell detail if your bit's getting what you want. That's kind of blurry. I used a quarter inch. Now we're going to make the bit smaller and watch what happens. Wow, this is loading. This is a good time to thank everybody for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so.
Every time you generate a new toolpath with a different tool, you'll need to generate a new toolpath preview so you can see what it's going to look like at the end when you have light put behind it. Go to the model tab up top, create component from, create component from toolpath preview. Make sure you change the settings. Do you notice the difference, how one's blurry? That's the bigger bit. And then the other one's pretty clear. That's the smaller bit. So this technique works really good to figure out what bit you need to use. So the smaller bit's going to be the one I choose to run it on, and that will be the one in the time lapse video at the end. The number is correct, it's from a mana tool if you'd like to purchase one.
Thanks for watching.